I am Christina Raven, the osteopath. I like to work gently, perhaps a bit stealthily, because I'm kind of creeping up on the part of the body that needs releasing. And by stretching, uh, gentle rocking techniques, maybe some deep muscle work. My approach to osteopathy, of course, is partly shaped by my own experiences, both of experiencing osteopathy and of being in pain. I've managed to pack quite a lot into my life in terms of pain and medical journeys. Um, I've been in a major car accident, I've had slip problems with slip discs, and I've had cancer. So all these things have informed my approach to health and how I can help my patients. And I make sure my patients know at least part of my story that I've been there and I've survived and I am thriving. In a sense, I see my work as helping the patients find a place of harmony from the chaos of pain. I've had times uh, when I've phoned Christina in extreme pain and Christina has always helped alleviate that pain very, very quickly. For me, listening is a huge part of what happens in an osteopathic session. When I'm taking a case history, it's really important to not only get information about the immediate problem, but what's happened in the patient's past. Because of my own particular experiences and life path, there are different groups of patients that I really enjoy treating. I love working with my older patients um, and helping them keep their independence for as long as possible. After I've been to see Christina, I certainly feel lighter and, and uh, I feel that I've had a lot of good done to me. I've had to have two replacement hips, I've had a few broken bones, and I always come to her, oh, she's kept me going. It's like having an MOT every time I come and see her. So another age range that I've had a lot of experience of working with is babies, babies and children, from all the way from pregnant mums through to newborn babies, babies with digestive problems, babies with sleeping problems, and that's really rewarding because when the baby is more comfortable, it sleeps better, and when the baby sleeps better, the whole family sleeps better. And of course, I work with musicians. My own experience of playing the piano, playing the guitar, playing the flute. Um, so I've got a lot of experience of the different kind of postural demands that playing an instrument makes. My first career was as a professional flute player, and I used to play in a symphony orchestra full time. There's an awful lot of sitting involved with that and slightly twisting. And when I saw that Christina uh, had been a musician uh, and I just Im immediately thought, yes, you know, it really resonated. She will understand. Turn your head to your left. Okay, and does that pull? Christina always makes me feel calm. Coming in to the room, I feel calm. Going out, I feel calm and about six inches taller. <laughs> I can really understand when patients come to me who are in so much pain. They are so fragile. I have had patients coming to me and they've said, nobody's been able to help. But someone said that you might. Do you think you can? And it's been a great privilege and honour, but yes, I have been able to help them. Hello, Jo. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Do come through. Christina gave me such confidence and listened properly and didn't pull you about like so many osteopaths do, just very gentle. And it's and it like amazing, put the hands underneath her back and you can just feel the, the fingers moving and the hands get all warm. And something doesn't exactly click, but you suddenly think, God, that's incredible. Do you know, it's ever so silly, but I cannot remember who recommended Christina to me. Whoever it was, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without Christina, quite honestly doesn't matter how old they are on the outside, and to help them keep connected with that younger inner person, for me, is a great privilege of my kind of osteopathy. 